Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm going to make some quick thank you note cards using the Sucker For You stamp set. I love all the succulents with this and most of the succulents that I have are pieces that I've got from my mum or that I've picked up along the way cheaply at nurseries and then I love making more out of just one plant. So I quite like them and these are really on trend at the moment. So I thought I would make some thank you note cards using using the Distress Watercolor Card Stock from Tim Holtz. And I'm going to do two different ways of doing this. These ones here, I have stamped with intense black ink and I've given them some time to dry before I start watercoloring them. And these ones I'm going to stamp with Distress Oxide inks and then use that ink to color them in. So instead of me talking the whole way through the process, I am going to do the coloring and speed it up and then at the end show you the finished result of what I've made. The note cards I've cut here are three by three inches and when I've cut that off the Distress Watercolor cardstock I've had a couple of pieces left over that are two and a half by three and rather than waste them I'm going to use them as well. So let me just set these ones aside and I'll start with the watercoloring. I'm going to use Distress Oxides throughout for this and I'm only going to use one colour per plant. So I'm just going to pick that up with my paintbrush. And then as you saw, I had a little bit too much of the ink on my watercolour brush. So I'm just going to water that down a little bit and then go in and blot it off. There's a bit too much space at the top of these, so I'm just going to trim this down. And then I'm going to put these all onto some colored cardstock note card bases. But I would much rather have a little bit extra around these images and then trim them down to fit. These aren't all going to be a uniform size. I'm making them to fit the images that I've got. So you can see I've adhered all of these stamped images that I've colored to note cards that measure around three by six inches and then I've scored them in the middle. This one is a little bit smaller and because I've used colored cardstock to put all these images onto, I've adhered some white daisy on the inside of all of these. And I'm taking this little image here and I'm just going to stamp that in pewter ink on the inside area of each of these note cards. These came together quite quickly, just using one color to color in the images and then just using the watercolor with the distress oxide straight from the edges of the stamped image it is quite a quick technique to do. You can wait for them to dry as you saw me do in the video and then add a little bit more color in. Don't go in over the top to add extra bits of shading because 
because it will bleed out from the color that you've already put there. So wait for it to dry a little bit. I haven't mixed colors at all. I wanted to just keep these in the one color format and show that you can get depth of color just by using one particular Distress Oxide color at a time. So I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today with me creating these little note cards. Happy crafting and bye for now. Mm -hmm.